While not everyone believes micromanaging is a form of bullying, it undoubtedly has a negative impact on one's mental health, work performance and confidence. Dima Suponai, co-founder of Number for Live Person, believes micromanaging is a form of bullying because it's about seeking control. As such, employees feel disenfranchised, humiliated, belittled and their mental health deteriorates. Both bullying and micromanaging take a mental toll on the target. Here are some of the ways victims suffer, regardless if micromanaging is intentional or not, it's defeating, disempowering and frustrating. Unfortunately, micromanaging is common in the workplace as a result of poor leadership and it wrecks havoc on everyone involved. Nora Robinson, PR representative at Refresh Remodeling, said, Micromanagers often resort to bullying tactics with the belief that it makes workers more productive, but it's because they don't know how to manage their team effectively. Oftentimes, these bosses view burnout as the price for productivity. A survey conducted by Trinity Solutions revealed here are three things you should know about the impact of micromanaging your employees. Diminishes employee confidence and motivation Micromanagers focus on mistakes and weaknesses rather than highlighting achievements and efforts. No matter how hard an employee works, they never feel like their work is good enough. This makes employees feel humiliated, destroys their confidence and motivation, and leads them to become disconnected. Marques Thomas, CEO and founder of Query Sprout, believes micromanaging is abusive because it negatively impacts the mental health of those on the receiving end. Janelle Owens, HR director at Test Prep Insight, describes micromanagement as a result of employees being stripped of their duties and indirectly told that they're not good enough and can't be trusted. A consequence of micromanaging is that employees believe they're not competent and their skills aren't valuable. Suponai, said, when micromanaging leads to a decline in performance, self-confidence or physical health for the person being controlled, it's not healthy. Furthermore, it disrupts productivity by preventing people from working independently as well as collaboratively. It creates an unhealthy and toxic environment too often, micromanaging is justified as perfectionism when really it's a form of manipulation to control others. It creates a codependent relationship where the employee is fearful to do anything without their boss's approval. Jason Brown, founder and CEO of Approved Costs, asserted, intentional or not, it produces an intimidating environment within the workplace causing employees to become incompetent. Branka Valida, founder of LegalJobs.io, said, micromanagement is a form of dictatorship where you don't get to question ways and methods, but instead have to comply with everything the manager wants without question.